Hey folks, uh, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is graphing on the coordinate plane. Some of you guys might have done some of this before, some of you guys might not have, but anyways, we'll show you what, uh, what, how to graph points on, on the coordinate plane, okay? So here's our common course strand for our most groovy teachers here, and then our question here is, um, how do we locate and name points in the coordinate plane? Okay, let's talk about the coordinate plane. So the coordinate plane is formed by, by two number lines. One goes vertical, which is up and down. Okay, see this number line? And then notice uh, up is positive and down is negative right here. And then uh, the horizontal one, right is positive and left is negative. And so this is zero for both um, the vertical axes and and the horizontal axes and that's what they're called are called axes right there okay so the two numbered lines are called uh, the axes a x e s okay uh, for singular it would be a x i s so the horizontal one is called the x axes right here so this guy is our x axes and typically we just label it with a little x right over here so this guy over here is going to be called the vertical one is going to be called our our um, uh, our y axes right there okay so uh, that's what that is and right where they intersect is called the origin right there so this is the origin where it's zero for both of them right there okay all right so notice uh, we put a little x here to label the x axes and we put the little y right here to label for the y axes right there okay and then uh, the two axes divide the coordinates into four quadrants, and they label them with Roman numerals. So this is quadrant one, and it goes counterclockwise. This is uh, quadrant two, so it goes to the left. Quadrant three, and then quadrant four, Roman numeral for four, is a is a an up and down vertical line like a one and then a v so that would be four okay so quadrants one two three four and i just call them q1 q2 q3 q4 and then ordered pairs you guys is a pair of numbers that gives you the location of the point on the graph so x would be for how much it goes left or right and y goes how much it goes up or down Okay, so the first number, which is x, and tells us how far we go to the right if it's positive. So if this number, if this number was a positive number, we'd go to the right right here. And then we'd go to the left if it's a first number is negative number right here. Okay, and then the second number tells us how much we go up or down. If it's positive, we go up. If it's down, we go, we go, um, if it's negative, we go down. And notice the uh, ordered pairs, wherever you do, whatever you do in math, you guys, ordered pairs are always in alphabetical order. Always, always, always. So if it said A, B, this would be A, this would be B. Later on, we have um, uh, these ordered pairs that are called HK. In my high school class, we do lots of HK, and H comes before K in the alphabet, so it's always H comma K. Okay, and then when you get into uh, much higher math, it's called um, cosine comma sine, and C comes before S. Uh, so everything's always alphabetical order. Any ordered pair is always alphabetical order. But for now, we're just going to always do X, Y, okay? All right, so... So the numbers in the ordered pair are called the coordinates, and then uh, the first number is the x-coordinate, and the second number is called, called the y-coordinate right there, okay? All right, so identify the coordinates of each point and name the quadrant where each point is located. Okay, so let's look at A first, you guys. So here's A. So from the origin right here, it goes to the left 1, and it goes down 5. So to the left is negative, down is negative. So that would be negative 1, negative 5 right there, okay? So uh, A is negative 1, negative 5, and notice it's in quadrant 3, okay? So, and I just label it Q3, okay? Quadrant 3. Remember, it goes quadrant 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? All right, how about B? Okay, so B is right here. So B from the origin is to the right 2, up 3. So to the right is positive. That's our first number. And then up is our second number, so it's up 3, so it's at 2, 3. And it's in quadrant 1 right there, okay? All right, so uh, uh, that's B right there. And then C, C is over here in quadrant 4, okay? So from the origin, we always start at the origin, and when it goes to the right 4, that's positive, and it goes down, 
Looks like 6, so down 6 would be negative 6, so that's in quadrant 4 right there. All right, let's, um, uh, hey, if both coordinates uh, uh, of a point are negative, which quadrant is that point located in? Well, let's, let's go back to our graph right here. Here is our graph, and we have one where they're both negative, okay? And it was this guy right here, okay? So which quadrant is it in? It's in quadrant 3 right there, okay? And then describe the coordinates of all the points in quadrant 1, okay? Well, look at quadrant 1. What do you notice about those points right there? Okay, they're both positive, so everything's positive in quadrant one, and then um, so that's what we'll just say right there. And it says um, uh, for number three, explain why negative three five represents a different location than positive three five. Okay, so I'm going to say something like this, you guys. Um, negative three five would be to the left three, up five right here. And so the negative for the, this is the x coordinate, remember it goes x comma y right there, so this is x, this is y right there, and this is x, this is y, so this one is positive, so we're going to go to the right 3 up 5. This one is negative, we go to the left 3 up 5, so, so the first number tells us do we go left or right, so the first number is x, and since it's negative it tells us we go to the left 3. Okay, and then on the second one, uh, 3 is positive, so we go to the right 3. Still go up 5. Okay, so let's try some more, you guys. So identify the coordinates of each point and name the quadrant where each point is located. Okay, remember the quadrants. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4. And it goes to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, counterclockwise, they call that, okay? All right, so let's go find uh, point G, because that's what it's asking for here. So point G, from the origin, it's to the right 4, down 4, okay? So that's going to be 4, comma, negative 4, and it's in quadrant 4, okay? All right, how about E, okay? From the origin, from the origin, it goes to the left 2, that's negative, and then up 4, so negative 2, 4, and it's in quadrant 2, okay? Let's look at F, okay? Always start from the origin. It goes to the right 3, up 2, so those are both positive, 3, comma 2, quadrant 1 right there, okay? And then H, H is over here, starting at the origin. It goes to the left 1, that's negative. It goes down 3, that's negative, so negative 1, negative 3, quadrant 3 right there, okay? All right. So graphing points in the coordinate plane. So points are located on the act that are located on the axes. Um, they're not in any quadrant at all. They're just on one of the the axes. So points that are on the x-axis have a y-coordinate of zero. And points that are on the y-axis have an x-coordinate of zero. Okay. So remember. This is my x-axis right here. This is when y equals 0, so like 2 comma 0 or negative 4 comma 0. That would be if it's on the x-axis. If it's on the y-axis, it would be 0 comma some number right there. That's what that's talking about, okay? All right, so let's graph and label these points, okay? So one of them I see is 0 there. Okay, so let's go uh, graph A. So to the left, 5 up 2 from the origin. So A would be over here to the left 5 up 2 okay so there would be point A right there okay B is they're both positive so this is to the right 3 up 1.5 so to the right 3 up 1 and a half so right about there would be B okay and then C you guys I think I did C in green I go to the right 0 or to the left 0 down 3 so I don't go left or right, I just go down 3. So there it is right there. It's on the y-axis. When it's on the y-axis, the x-coordinate is 0, okay? So 0, negative 3. All right, the biggest problem I see with kids is they just do them backwards, you guys, okay? So the first number is always left or right, and the second number is always up or down. Okay, let's try some more, you guys. Okay, so let's go. This one's going to go to the left, 4, up, 2. So to the left, 4, up, 2. We'll label it P right there, okay? And then the next one is going to go, these are both positive, so to the right, 3, up, 2 and a half. Always start at the origin. To the right, 3, up, there's 2. There's 3, so 2 and a half would be right about there. So we'll put a, a Q right there. This is to the left, 4 and a half, and down 4, or down 5. So to the left, 4 and a half would be right about there, and then down 5 would be somewhere right around there, okay? So there would be point R, okay? So this one 
is going to be, the, the y is 0, so it's going to be on the x-axis. So we go to the left, 2.5, and then up 0. So to the left, 2.5, and then up 0. So it's going to be right there on the, on the x-axis right there. Okay, all right, so um, uh, the graph here shows the location of a city, okay, so the, the location of the city is right there, see that right there, and then there's a little compass thing right here, this is north, south, west, east, okay, it also shows the location of Gary's house and Jen's house, here's Gary's house and Jen's house, and the scale on each axis represents miles, so let's look at this scale, Look, two, two uh, squares represents 10, so one square is going to be 5. Each square is going to be 5. So this one says, use the scale to describe Gary's location relative to the city. Okay, so Gary's location is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He's 25 miles west of the city, and he's 5, 10, 15 miles north, so something like that, I would say. Oops, I clicked the wrong one. So each grid is 5, so he's 25 miles west and 15 miles north of the city. All right, now the uh, part B says describe the location of Jen's house re uh, relate, related to, so sorry, Gary's house. Okay, so Jen's house, they're on the same uh, horizontal uh, grid right here. So how many squares is Jen's house to the right of Gary's? So let's count them. So let's count them by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So she's 30 miles east. Remember, east is to the right. So she's 30 miles east of Gary's house because it said locate that to Gary's house. So what did I say? I said Jen's house is located six, six squares to the right of Gary's. So each square is five miles, so her house is six times five miles, 30 miles. I, I forgot to write to the east, so 30 miles to the east from Gary's house, okay? Something like that, okay? All right. So let's try use the same graph, you guys. It says Ted lives, so um, use the same graph right here as we just did in the last one. Ted lives 20 miles south and 20 miles west of the city. So 20 miles south would be 5, 10, 15, 20. There's south. And then west is to the left, 5, 10, 15, 20. So there's uh, Ted's house right there, okay? Uh, and it says give the coordinates of the brothers' houses. So Ted would be negative 20, negative 20. Let's go ahead and do that real quick, okay? So there's Ted right there. And then it says um, uh, his brother Ned lives 45 miles north of Ted's house. So we're just going to go straight up. So 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. There's Gary's house, or Ned's house right there. Sorry, I was thinking of the last problem right there. So it looks like it's at negative 20, 25, I think, okay? Something like that. Yeah, negative 20, 25. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. And there's there's our buddy Foghorn Leghorn, and he crosses the motor road for doing math. Take care. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs>